welcome to this 20 minute upper body flow. Um, if you now get ready something like a bolster or a rolled up towel or a rolled up yoga mat, something like that, um, that will be really helpful for uh, the chest opener that we're gonna do later. Okay, so let's begin by just rooting through the feet. So bringing the feet to around hip distance apart. And we're just gonna come into the body here. So feel free to close your eyes, bringing one hand or both hands onto the belly. And we're just gonna practice some belly breathing here. So belly breathing is breathing into the belly as opposed to breathing into the chest. So actually let's bring uh, one hand onto the belly and one hand onto the chest. And just taking a deep inhale, noticing which hand is maybe moving most. So noticing where you might be naturally breathing into the most. Is it your chest or is it your belly? And it's really important that we are breathing into the whole thoracic cavity. And belly breath is a really good way to do that because we often don't breathe into the belly. So we're gonna really focus on breathing into the belly. So pushing the belly out as we inhale. So it's also called uh, Buddha breath because you kind of get this nice big Buddha belly as you inhale. So let's practice that inhaling and exhaling through the nose into the belly, feeling the belly fill up with air as you inhale. And you should find that the hand that's on your chest is no longer moving or no longer moving so much. Isolating the belly here and just breathing into the belly. Good. And now we're gonna see if we can breathe into the belly and the chest together. So as we inhale, inhaling first through the belly and then through the chest. So you should feel your belly expanding first and then your chest expanding. So let's try that. And then exhaling from the chest and then the belly. So inhaling belly and then chest. Exhaling chest and then belly. Maybe a couple more. And then we'll just release our hands. You might want to just shake out your arms a little bit. We're going to do some very quick joint movements here. So we're just going to look over our left shoulder and then coming back to center, looking over our right shoulder. So keeping going with the belly breath here. So deep breaths into the belly throughout today's practice. Looking over the right shoulder. And then we're going to bring our left ear to our left shoulder. And coming back to center, right ear to right shoulder. Back to center. Keeping the belly breath going. And once more, left ear to left shoulder. And right ear to right shoulder. Good. And then just bringing the hands out in front of us, just stretching the fingers and squeezing. Stretch the fingers, see if you can get the thumbs to point towards each other and squeeze. Stretch and squeeze. And we'll bring the thumbs in and the fingers in and just drawing circles with the wrists. Clockwise first, see if you can get the, um, the hands to move at exactly the same point. 
and then we'll go the other way. So matching the movements here. Good. And then we'll bring our right foot out and we're gonna spread the toes as much as possible, really making space between the toes and then squeeze and spread, squeeze, spread, squeeze, spread and squeeze. And then again, we're gonna draw circles with the toes here. Clockwise first and then anti-clockwise. Just warming up the joints here today. Okay, and then we'll do the other side. So lifting up the uh, left toes, spreading them out and squeeze. Spread and squeeze, spread and squeeze, and spread and squeeze. And then again, drawing circles from the ankle here. And just make sure that your knee is not moving too much. We want the movement to come from your ankle. Okay, good. So we're gonna start um, with a little flow. So if you come to the top of your mat, we're gonna take a step back with the right leg, but it's a very small step, probably about two feet back and then just dropping the heel there. So both feet are pointing in the same direction. If you like, you can point the right foot at 45 degrees, but see if you can try and point them both forwards. Both legs are straight here. And we're gonna bring our hands into prayer behind our backs. So I'll just turn around for you. So hands are coming into prayer behind our backs and really pushing through the heel of the hand. So if, um, if that's not quite possible for you, you can also grab hold of your hands or your elbows, whichever feels good for you. So only coming as far as feels good for you. There's no judgment here in this space. Okay, and now that we're here, we're just gonna take a deep inhale and exhale folding over that front foot. keeping the elbows kind of tucking back. So the elbows are essentially trying to meet each other behind your back. Deep belly breaths here. And then coming back up, bring the weight to your front foot and we're just going to lift up the back foot and just take it a bigger step back. We're going to come into Trikonasana Triangle Pose. So the front foot is facing forwards. The back foot is either 45 degrees or 90 degrees, whichever feels good for you. Both legs are straight again. And then we're just going to twist our hips to face the side of the room. So we're no longer facing our front foot. We're actually now facing the side of the room. And then we're gonna bring our hands out and we're gonna windmill them down. So keeping active, the right shoulder is shrugging down and back. And the chest is opening here, looking upwards. And then we're gonna come into Revolved Warrior. So I'm just gonna switch my feet so I can show you. So the back knee, we're gonna drop that. I'm gonna bring our hands into prayer and we're hooking, I believe you're hooking your right elbow over your left knee. And so your prayer hands, you want them to come into the center of your chest or as central as they can be. And you can stay here if that feels good or you can come back onto the toes of your right foot. So make sure that your shoulder, your, your left shoulder is shrugging back. So you don't wanna be kind of bringing your shoulder forward. You're really opening through the chest here.
Good. And when you're ready, just coming back to the top of your mat, we'll do the same on the other side. So stepping back with that left foot, only a couple of feet. And see if you can try and keep both feet parallel. Bring your hands into prayer behind your back, pushing through the heels of the hands. And then when you're ready, just folding forwards gently, keeping the elbows back. And a few deep belly breaths here. And when you're ready, coming up, bringing the weight into that front foot, and we're gonna take a bigger step to come into Trikonasana, triangle pose. The back foot is either 45 degrees or 90 degrees. Both legs are straight again, bringing the hands out, and we're gonna windmill the hands. So the right hand is just resting either on the thigh or on the shin, or maybe on the ankle. And the left hand is reaching up and we're really opening the chest here, opening the chest up to the sky. So what we don't want to do, the aim is not to get the right hand to be on our ankle because then it's likely that our hip is going to be twisting down. We don't want that. We would rather be here with our hip open, our chest open, looking up. Okay, now we're coming into cat cow. So just coming onto your hands and knees. And our hands are directly below our shoulders. Knees are directly below our hips. Toes are untucked, so the tops of the feet are pressing into the mat. And we're just going to inhale, arching the back, looking upwards, reaching up with the tailbone. Exhale, rounding the back, pushing the back towards the ceiling, pushing through the hands. Inhale to arch, lifting the head, lifting the tailbone. Exhale to round, arching the back, pushing the back towards the ceiling, pushing through the hands. Inhale to arch. Exhale to round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. And exhale to round. We're going to do a quick threading the needle here. So we're going to lift up the right hand and place it underneath the left hand, palm is facing up. And we're going to keep sliding it until our ear touches the ground. So we're resting the side of our head on the ground and really reaching with that right hand. So this is a spine twist as well as a really nice shoulder stretch. And when you're ready, just coming up and we'll do the other side. So bringing the left hand palm facing up underneath the right until your ear touches the mat, really reaching to the side with that left hand. Good, and coming up and we're gonna come into Sphinx now. So just kind of walk your hands forward a little bit. We're gonna drop onto the forearms and just bringing the legs out behind you. Checking the space between your elbows, just make sure um, it's the same space as your shoulder width. And palms are facing down. And again, just checking that your elbow uh, angle is about 90 degrees. It can be a little bit more or a little bit less, that's fine. 
And then we're just zipping up the legs, pushing the legs towards each other and pushing them down into the mat. And we're just gonna inhale and open the chest, looking forwards, uh, bringing the shoulders down away from the ears. And taking a few breaths here. And we're just going to come back onto our hands and knees. We're going to um, cross our ankles and just roll over so that our feet are out in front of us. We're going to do a counter pose for Sphinx here. So just lifting up as, an, as we inhale and exhaling to fold forwards here. So just grabbing hold of maybe the ankles, maybe the um, shins, maybe the big toes, maybe the outsides of the feet, whichever feels good for you. And we're just gonna release here for a few moments. Releasing the back, deep belly breaths. And when you're ready, gently coming up and we're gonna come into our final pose for today. That's Shavasana, a very quick Shavasana. Um, and if you prefer, you can do Shavasana just on your mat or wherever, you're, wherever you are um, by just lying on your back. If you have something like a bolster, feel free to give this one a try. It's just um, another variation. So a bolster or a rolled up towel, anything like that. And we're just gonna place our spine on our bolster. Make sure that your head is also able to rest on the bolster, so it should be long enough for your head. Ideally, it would be long enough for your hips as well to rest on the bolster. Um, mine's not quite that long enough, uh, so I keep my heels quite close. And experiment with your hand positioning. So you can try keeping your hands uh, by your um, hips, palms facing up. You can just try moving them a little bit further out and notice which one gives you the biggest uh, stretch, the biggest opening through your shoulders and your pecs. So whichever feels good for you, just find that. And we're just gonna be here for two minutes. And when you're ready, just gently coming out of this pose, coming back into our comfortable sitting position. Bringing the hands to prayer at our heart center. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale, folding forwards in gratitude to the divinity within you. Inhale to come back up. And that's the end of our session. Enjoy, hope you have a lovely rest of your day.